So, uh, today, we are actually doing a non-casual stream, and we're talking about, just to give you a little preview, Rocky versus Karate Kid movies. So, the whole franchise. So, the Rocky franchise pitted against the Karate Kid franchise. Which one's better? Which one I would choose if I had to pick only one over the other? The other would cease to exist. So, we will see. So, before I get into the poll where it basically pitted Karate Kid, all the movies, the whole franchise, against the Rocky franchise, which both franchises are quite deep. There's a lot of movies in both camps, essentially. But before we get into that, I do want to say that basically both movies are very inspirational in different ways. Rocky, I mean, Sylvester Stallone, who played Rocky, had some really great lines in here that were very inspirational throughout all of the Rocky movies. So I'm going to kind of point out some of those. And also, Mr. Miyagi, he's like the fountain of wisdom. So I would be remiss if I didn't say some of the great and wise things he said. So here's some stuff that I actually have printed out that I put on my vision board. And a vision board is essentially like anything that would inspire you. It could be pictures, it could be quotes, it could be mementos that you put on a board. It could be technically anything you want it to be. So my vision board has a whole bunch of movie quotes and TV quotes, stuff that really pumps me up. I don't have it behind me, but one day I'll show it to you guys. I've posted it on Instagram before, but a lot of these Rocky and Mr. Miyagi Karate Kid quotes uh, I have on my board. So, and I also have some extras that I couldn't fit on one board. So one day I'm going to make a second vision board and I'll put even more stuff on there. So here we go. Here are some, some inspirational stuff from Rocky. We'll go with Rocky first. All right. So our greatest glory is not in falling, but in rising every time we fall. Of course, Rocky says this. I just, there's so many great things that Rocky says, but here's something that Mickey, his trainer says, you're going to eat lightning and you're going to crap thunder. Like, I can't do it well, but uh, you guys know my, my impersonations are never accurate. But hey, that's what makes them fun, right? So, um, I like this a lot. Just, you know, you're going to be tough. Nobody owes nobody nothing. You owe yourself. And that's Rocky just, you know, basically saying, you owe yourself. It really don't matter if I lose this fight. It really don't matter if this guy opens my head either. Because all I want to do is go the distance. Uh, it's great Rocky stuff there. It really inspires you if you're working out especially. Just keep going. Or even in life, if you're having a tough time, just keep pushing along. Here's another one. Until you start believing in yourself, you ain't going to have a life. Time takes out. Time takes everybody out. Time's undefeated. That one's kind of dark right there. But, I mean, it's poignant at the same time. Makes you think. Makes you appreciate the time you have. All we can do is just go with what we are. This is probably my favorite of the group of quotes I have. Because it's just basically like, all you can do is be yourself. And that's what we have to work with. If you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. I uh, just like this. I like the vision. Like, the... The visuals and the image you see of him at the top of the stairs, uh, basically raising his arm in victory. And I love the sentiment here. So very, very powerful. All right, here's another one. Going in one more round when you don't think you can, that's what makes all the difference in your life. And that is uh, bringing it full circle. That's the last of my Rocky quotes. And then we're going to go to Mr. Miyagi, some nice karate kid quotes. But before I do, Kat says she loves that I have a vision board. Creating a vision board was one of the tasks for her 20 for 2020 list. She didn't get to it. But she may end up doing it for her 21 for 2021 list. I think you should, Kat, because it was so fun making mine. I'm going to have to show you a picture of it. I'm really, really proud about the way it turned out. But again, I have so much printed out because I actually was collecting all of these things. I've been meaning to make this vision board for years. I finally did it like a couple of months ago. But I had printed out stuff. Um, or not printed out. I had saved stuff on my computer for months and months and months. Maybe even a year before I ended up printing it out. Which is really what took me so long to do, is to print it out and to find a good printer where my pictures, because a lot of them isn't just quotes, it's quotes with like visuals or like nice little images to go along with the quote. So yeah, it took me a little bit longer to print out, but I'm so glad I did. And hopefully I can buy another bulletin board so I could get to work on my second one. Because yeah, I've got so many things I printed out, I have like enough for a second board. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. You definitely should get to it because it's, it's uh, just really, it feels good to to see the vision board. Now, I don't have it in my room, which is where you're supposed to have it, somewhere where you could see it all the time, but I do have it in our living room because it's not hanging up, so it's like sitting on the ground so I could see it all the time. 
When you feel life is out of focus, always return to the basic of life, breathing. No breath, no life. Of course, Mr. Miyagi says that, and to me, he really is, like, just a wealth of wisdom, a wealth of knowledge, really wise guy, really sweet guy. I love him in the movies. I think he is the shining star of the Karate Kid movies, especially the, obviously, the original movies, versus, like, the Cobra Kai series stands on its own. They obviously can't use Mr. Miyagi since the actor who played him, Pat, passed away, sadly. But he lived a great full life, and he was a great actor, and I love him as Mr. Miyagi. So that's the first quote we're going with. Oops, let me go back to the second quote here. Second quote, it's okay to lose to opponent, must not lose to fear. I like this because, like, you know, basically, don't let anxiety and fear rule over you. And this is very personal for me because I do struggle with anxiety and worrying all the time. I'm always like, oh my god, what is gonna be said about this? Or what's this gonna be like if I go do this? Or or what's the situation gonna be? And like, I'll spend so much time worrying, I like make myself sick. So it's okay to lose or fail, but it's not okay to lose or fail to fear. I like that idea a lot. We've got Money Man 229 joining us in the chat. How you doing? Johnny from Karate Kid is the best character, he says, from Karate Kid. Yeah, um, Johnny is a great character. I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of Daniel. I think he's kind of like a whiny, just like a, a, a whiny guy. He's like a whiny adolescent. I don't know. I just, sometimes Daniel gets on my nerves a little bit, I gotta say. All right, sometimes with the heart, no, head forget. I like this a lot, and he's got like a little smug. It's the smug Mr. Miyagi look. I love that look. It's so classic. Great Mr. Miyagi facial expression. Here's just a great piece of art. It's got tons of quotes all around it. I found it online when I was looking for specifically quotes, but look how cool this is. Uh, basically, the background is all of Mr. Miyagi's quotes. Balance is key. You know, man who catch fly with chopstick, accomplish anything, all kinds of stuff there in the background, but look at this nice artwork of him. It's like a portrait. Alright, and I like this one a lot. This is the last one. You trust the quality of what you know, not quantity, Mr. Miyagi says. So basically, you know, the quality of what you know is more important than anything. WR Central also likes the quote about let, not letting fear basically control you, not losing to fear, and it's okay to fail. He says, you know, he struggles with anxiety too, so that kind of, he can relate to that as well. Uh, again, something that I truly relate to too, so we're on the same page there. There we come full circle with the first one about breathing. Some good quotes from both franchises there and yeah how can you go wrong with either set of franchises or either franchise I should say each set of movies great stuff really iconic movies movies that really give you that nice comfort feel I feel like any of the Karate Kid movies or any of the Rocky movies you could put on a Sunday watch it chill relax and be like wow this was a great Sunday no matter how many times you saw the movies so at least that's my opinion I don't know what you guys feel in the chat but I feel like if you watch either sets of movies, it's a really nice, enjoyable time. You can only pick one franchise, the other will cease to exist. Which are you choosing, the Rocky franchise or the Karate Kid franchise? And yes, the Rocky franchise, it, it includes Creed, the Creed movies, and the Karate Kid franchise, it does include Cobra Kai. So we are including those in the different franchises. That means if you pick Rocky, then Cobra Kai ceases to exist too, not just the movies. And if you pick Karate Kid, yes, the Creed movies cease to exist, not just the Rocky movies. And also the Balboa movies. Basically everything Rocky-themed or that Rocky, you know, is kind of a part of. It's gone, baby. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone, baby. What the hell? Who am I? Who, am I some kind of Cajun chef? I must be hanging out with the chef on our cooking show too much, Kevin Belton. He's always saying baby. Anyway, so here is the poll results. So this was a poll I put on Twitter. And here we go. Rocky won with 174 votes total. Rocky won with 66.7 of those votes. Karate Kid lost. Came in last. It ceases to exist with 33.3% 3 of the vote. So poor Karate Kid. And actually, you know, people in the comments were loving Karate Kid for some parts, but um, not all parts. So yeah, Karate Kid just couldn't pull out the victory there. I don't know. Rocky pulled out the victory. Rocky was truly the eye of the tiger in this Twitter poll. Nail says for her it's not hard. She will die on a hill to keep Rocky. So she's pro-Rocky 100% of the way here. 
Josh is saying he loves to give and he likes giving better than receiving. You're so sweet. He's got a tear in his eye. No, no, no. We've got a tear in our eyes. And also, it's very thematic because we're talking about Eye of the Tiger. And Taker Kid says, man, that was a knockout by Rocky. Basically knocking out Karate Kid. Yep. So let's go to people's thoughts. Why did they pick one franchise over the other? What's their reasoning? Mayor of Nilbog, which is a great name, by the way. Uh, he's been following me for a very long time. I love, I've always loved his name. While Karate Kid was a very cool movie, the Rocky movies gave me the feels. First, Rocky calling out for Adrian at the end of the match. Both Mickey and Apollo die, and eventually, he trains Apollo's son. Also, who's their bigger heel, really? Johnny or Clubber Lang? I don't know, Clipper Lang's pretty much the bigger heel because you become, like, fond of Johnny in the Cobra Kai series. So, yeah, I would have to say Clipper Lang is definitely the bigger bad guy, for sure. So, definitely the more menacing bad guy, 100%. We've got Zach, who's also in our chat right now, Take Your Kid 27. I picked Rocky, I enjoyed the Creed movies, and I never got into Karate Kid. Plus, Eye of the Tiger is an all-time banger. I love the way he says all-time banger. Uh, yeah, I always say stuff like that. Um, yes, Eye of the Tiger never gets old. And again, even the original score by Bill Conti, or Conti, however you say it. Um, I'm, I hate pronunciation. You guys know I'm bad at it. I'm ridiculous at it. Ah, I said the secret word. Ridiculous. Time to scream real loud. But anyway, yes, uh, the original score is incredible as well. So if you add those two together, man, the music is just on another level for Rocky. All right, so we've got Wooza saying Karate Kid for him, love Rocky IV and Creed II. However, the original Karate Kid and the sequel in Japan, he loves. Also, Cobra Kai series rejuvenated the love of the Karate Kid franchise for Wooza. Yeah, basically, Cobra Kai is amazing. And that's the thing. I think Cobra Kai is really, really, really what makes his choice extra tough for someone who likes both things. Because, yeah, the Karate Kid movies are great, but it's definitely... I don't think... It's as deep as the Rocky franchise in terms of, like, just how much there is out there. Whereas when you add the Cobra Kai in, it gives Karate Kid a little bit more depth and a little bit more flavor and a little bit more to work with, essentially. Cat screamed when I said ridiculous. So, yay! We, we screamed when we said the secret word, just like Pee Wee. Also, Taker Kid says he votes for Ivan... Drago to be the monster heel because he actually killed the guy. Oh my god, I hated him. I hated him so much. He is like the monster heel. Ivan's a bastard, man. Justin says, Rocky, my Delaware Valley heritage wouldn't allow me to pick otherwise. So he feels boxed in here. He's got to pick Rocky. Derek, our great friend Derek, Derek Stark says, for me, it's Rocky, a man that came from nothing and became the best. Yeah, and I love how in Rocky, everyone calls everybody bums. Like, bum is such an insult in Rocky. Like, you bum. Like, for some reason, it's so bad to be a bum. I mean, that's like their main insult. Not like any kind of curse words. It's just bum. You call somebody a bum, it's like the ultimate insult in Rocky. All right, Matthew Lopez says, very hard, but it's Rocky for him. Wrestling in the Dark says, I chose Rocky because my life would have been so much less frustrating if I hadn't heard so many people do the wax on, wax off joke. I gotta say, that is like one of the most quoted parts from Karate Kid. But then again, you could always say, yo, Adrian is super quoted as well. Almost like, over quoted. I gotta say, I even said, yo, Adrian the other day. Like, four times the other day. So I am not any better than anybody else. I'm over quoting just like everybody else. John Eiley says, gotta be Rocky for him. Gorilla Press Driver? Rocky. Even with the lows of the series, it outweighs Karate Kid series. That's a strong take there. Because, yet yeah, there are some lows to Rocky, but, like, let's talk about the lows for a second. Even, like, Rocky Five to me, which everyone bashes, I like Rocky Five. Like, where he's training, like, Tommy Gunn, I think it is. Uh, even when he's training him, it's like, I still like it. I gotta say, everyone always bashes it, but, like, the fighting in the street was pretty epic in the neighborhood. That was fun. Whatever. I mean, you know, you were passionate. You were so mad at Tommy that you wanted, like, Rocky to beat his ass. Pardon my French. But, yeah, you really wanted Rocky to succeed. Nails is, uh, basically giving us her reasons for Rocky here, and I like her reasons a lot. 
Rocky. We have romance, we have several types of friendship, family, loyalty stories, we hate Apollo, then we love Apollo, then we grieve for Apollo, then we avenge Apollo. Amazing. Then we've got utter terrifying fear with Drago. Oh my god, this is like the perfect statement and summary of Rocky. I love the way she talks about like just the sequence essentially of events and the relationships changing throughout the whole series of movies. That's such a great way to put it, Nails. Uh, that's perfectly worded. So beautifully said. Also, I love how Nails mentions the beach running scene with Rocky and Apollo. You can't take that out of existence. Oh my god, the beach scene. I gotta say Rocky 3 is my favorite. The beach scene's amazing. And uh, SCU, if you are wrestling fans, on Being the Elite, they spoofed Rocky 3, and they did it so well. Oh my god, I marked out, like, I'm not into wrestling that much anymore, but when they did that Rocky 3 spoof, I was, like, so excited. I laughed so hard. Oh my god, it was perfect. Josh says Rocky 4 is still one of his favorites in the whole Rocky series. Yeah, Rocky 4 is good, too. I love the robot that they give Pauly. I gotta come back on camera for this for a second. So, the robot that they give Pauly. Happy birthday, Pauly and it does all this music it's like this techno music and it's like ding, 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 ding. and then basically the robot becomes Polly's girlfriend very weird but <laughs> whatever Polly, man he's a weirdo but i gotta say for paul's birthday my boyfriend paul i always say happy birthday Polly, and then i do like this even though the robot like doesn't do like this techno thing he's more like i don't know walking like this but i always go like happy birthday Polly. Like, it's a dance. <laughs> Whatever. I never call him Polly any other time except for on his birthday. Just to quote that line. Happy birthday, Polly. I will say it a thousand times before the stream is over. Because it's so great. It never gets old. Ever. So, yes. Also, I like Josh's quoting, If he dies, he dies. No, that, that freaks me out every time. I get so mad. I hate him so much. I must break you. I can't even do the, the accent. The Russian accent so bad it's a terrible accent anyway but i must break you and he gets all angry well actually he's all like stoic that's kind of what makes you hate him even more he doesn't care about anything he's just like i must break you very serious i don't know he's not like super angry like clubber lang is clubber lang is angry like he's super mad i don't know so they're very different villains and i like that so you got all these different flavors of villains in rocky that's another great thing about the series all right now back to our reasoning about why people picked certain movies over the other so let's go back to the twitter comments here we've got our good friend take the bump pod and he says cobra kai is the best part of the karate kid story don't at me so i assume because of that he's picking karate kid because cobra kai is a very strong part of the franchise and oh my god it's even better than the, than some of the original. I gotta say, some of the original story is kind of weak when you go rewatch it, but some of it's great. A lot of it's nostalgic, but like, yeah, Cobra Kai reinvented it, and it doesn't just bank on nostalgia. I think it kind of, it exceeds the originals in some ways because the story's so good. Like, who knew that, that, that these two guys would take their rivalry into adulthood and kind of ramp it up in different ways? WR Central had to clip the robot. That's great. I'm glad you clipped it. Happy birthday, Polly. It's my favorite thing. I, I just, I love that scene so much. All right. Robert Lowry says, The Rocky franchise has lasted for over three or four decades. The original movie is an all-time classic. Also, the Rocky soundtrack is phenomenal as well. I gotta agree with the soundtrack. I think if you put the soundtracks against each other, Rocky is kind of clearly the winner, in my opinion. Although... You know, Karate Kid has some nice, very soothing, very zen music. Also some very good music and catchy music, too. So I gotta say, Karate Kid has some good stuff, but can it really go, you know, head-to-head -head with Rocky? I don't know. I don't know. So Dave says, I picked Karate Kid because even though I love the Rocky movies, I feel like the Karate Kid movies inspired me more, and I empathize more with the main characters. I just don't know. Like, Daniel is so hard to empathize with for me. Like, yeah, he moved... But also, he's kind of whiny sometimes. But yeah, he's getting picked on, though. I don't know. I don't know. And there's this whole YouTube thing where they actually make Daniel, like, the villain. 
like they show how he's trying to steal Johnny's girlfriend and blah blah blah. Johnny's not the good guy. Let's let's not pretend like Johnny's the good guy at all. He's also a creep. But I gotta say, I don't know. Daniel sometimes acts like he's not a a stand up guy in the movie. So I don't really empathize with them as much as I do with Rocky, but I still love Karate Kid overall. I think Mr. Miyagi is what shines, and yeah, I think anybody could relate to Mr. Miyagi. He's so sweet, so wise, and also went through a lot with his wife, and that really makes you feel for him. Alright, let's move on to Eric. Eric says, if Karate Kid is gone, no more Cobra Kai. And again, a lot of people are calling out Cobra Kai here as a key part of the Karate Kid franchise, and they don't want to lose it. Here's our good friend Graham at MGB Graham shouting out, of course, Drago, I must break you. <laughs> uh, it's a terrible impression. Oh my god, it's so bad. Mrs. Deathwish says Black Lives Matter. She says Karate Kid because I can't stand St Sly Stallone. He gives me the creeps. No! I love Sylvester Stallone. Also, she says Cobra Kai. That's it. So she clearly loves Cobra Kai. I understand, but at the same time, you gotta love Sylvester Stallone. Let me come back on camera for a second to tell this story. So actually, I worked with somebody who is Sylvester Stallone's like personal assistant for a while. And she's told me stories about him. He's very nice. So to me, it's like, okay, finding out that he's an actual nice guy on top of like the awesome movies, I think that makes Sylvester Stallone very cool. And people always kind of crap on Sylvester Stallone because like, let's take um, The Expendables as an example here. Um... The Expendables, I feel really bad because everyone makes fun of the movie, and it is, like, kind of over the top and ridiculous, but he put, like, if you watch, there's this making of the Expendables documentary, like, he put so much of his heart into that movie. I think he wrote and direct it, directed, and he did so much for the movie, and, like, he got, like, really hurt on the Expendables. Like, he hurt, I think, so many different things, like, I think he broke bones, like, I can't even remember what happened, but I just remember this documentary, and all the things he went through making this movie, and yet people still kind of made fun of him. So to me, it's like, no, props to Sylvester Stallone, I'm not gonna make fun of him, no way. I like him a lot. So, I'm pro Sly Stallone, for, for sure. Kevin Braun says, as great as the original Karate Kid film is, the original Rocky film is even better. Plus, we'd lose the Creed franchise. Easy choice, in his opinion. Yeah, I gotta say, like, I understand where he's coming from in terms of just comparing the original films. Like, I love the original Karate Kid, but I actually like some of the sequels better. They're more fun. Whereas the original Rocky, I feel like, just shines above a lot of other movies from that time period. Alright, so then we go come full circle. And again, this whole question that I posed was you can only pick one franchise... One, the other will cease to exist. One you can pick, the other will cease to exist. Which one am I picking? Rocky or Karate Kid? So here, the moment of truth has come. What am I choosing? I don't know. Um, also, Nail says she thinks there's a famous hospital bed picture of Sylvester Stallone, you know, getting hurt so much. I'm sure there is. Basically, he, uh... He just works so hard. It, to me, it's like you can't really make fun of a man for like putting his heart and soul into something he believes in. And his whole story of success, too. He just kept trying to write this script and get it out there. And he just kept pushing and pushing. And he made it happen on such a low budget, too. And the movie like turned into a huge success. So to me, it's like, man, you know, how can you fault somebody for any of that? I can't. All right, so again, again like I said, moment of truth. Drum roll. I don't know if I do this drum roll if it'll hurt the mic, but... I usually do it with my mouth, like, blah, 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 but that's not a real drum roll. That's terrible. So, let's see. <sighs> what am I choosing? It's hard. I gotta say, it's hard, but it's easy. I'm definitely choosing Rocky because, one, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I love Karate Kid, and it is a favorite, but it's a newer favorite. So, when I watched Cobra Kai, I hadn't seen Karate Kid in years. So, right before, like, I watched one episode, and I was like, no, no, no. So I went back and rewatched Karate Kid, rewatched Karate Kid 2. I'd never seen Karate Kid 3. Then I also rewatched the next Karate Kid, and then I watched all of Cobra Kai. And again, we're still seeing new Cobra Kai because the new season's about to come out soon. So, you know, it's not complete. We don't know how the story ends. We don't know how Rocky ends in a way either because he's still making appearances in the Creed movies. So Rocky's chapter isn't necessarily over. It is in terms of boxing, but not as like, uh, you know... We haven't seen the last of Rocky, I don't think. 
So in that sense, you know, I feel like, to me, I've liked Rocky so much longer. I remember the first time I ever saw Rocky, it was a marathon on AMC, the TV channel. So I was, uh, back when I had my old tube TV in my parents' house, a big tube TV, like, it was so big, this tube TV. It was a massive tube TV. So we see AMC, they were playing all the Rocky movies in a row, like a marathon, like I said. So as I'm watching the movie, I get so animated during the fight scenes, because it's my first time seeing it, I don't know what happens. So I'm literally standing up being like, go Rocky, hit him, get him! And like, then then all of a sudden, a couple movies later, as Nail says, then you're rooting for Apollo too, like, and loving Apollo, because you know, you're, you're on the Apollo-Rocky friendship side, and you're like, oh, I love Apollo now, you don't hate him anymore. And just, oh god, you're rooting for Rocky so hard in these movies, like, it makes you feel. Like, you're really, like, empathize with him. So to me, because of how much I empathize with Rocky, especially the first time I saw it, like, my parents were like, we could hear you yelling in the other room. Like, how would you like Rocky? I was like, I loved it. They're like, oh my god, you got so into it. Which I did. So I will say yes. Uh, I love movies, Neil says, that get you out of your seat. Me too. Those are the best type of movies for sure. And yeah, it's... It's great when you can get invested in a film. And to me, Rocky does that very well. Karate Kid, I gotta say, I can't leave Karate Kid out. Karate Kid does make you feel things, I will say that. But again, I just feel like Rocky is the everyman. Rocky is the underdog, the complete underdog. Whereas to me, Daniel isn't as much of a sympathetic underdog. Like, there's some parts where you're like, ah, Daniel, stop complaining, stop whining, whatever. That sounds mean, but like... I know you guys, if you've seen Karate Kid, you know what I'm talking about. So if you rewatch it today, if you haven't seen it in a while, go back and rewatch it. You'll be thinking the same thing as me. Sometimes Daniel just gets on your nerves and you're like, oh my god, Daniel, you're annoying. But whereas Rocky, I never think he's annoying, except sometimes when he's like, uh, very stubborn. And like, you know, I don't know. He just wants to do, do things his own way. So I, I, when he's stubborn, that's kind of frustrating. But it's not the same thing as not being sympathetic. So again, my choice is Rocky. Yo, guys, I did it. I made a choice. So, and I hate making decisions, but I did it for this stream. So there you go, guys. There's your choice from me. I made a final decision. So if you guys disagree with me, shout it out in the chat right now and let me know. Good Guy Dave says, yo, Adrian. Even though, remember, Good Guy Dave picked Karate Kid. So sorry, Dave. I had to go against your choice. I totally, totally choose Rocky. Kat says choosing between the two movies would be hard for her because there are wonderful elements, characters, inspiration in both. It is difficult because, like, there's great stuff in each film, especially if you're just comparing the originals. Like, take away the sequels, take away Cobra Kai, take away everything else, just the originals. It's very difficult, I think, because Karate Kid is so iconic in terms of, like, a great family movie from the 80s. But yeah, I, I still gotta give it to Rocky because... Not only is it iconic for film, it's iconic for the city of Philadelphia. Like, you know, our friend Mike Neighbor said, it's so weird that, like, a city kind of has adopted a fictional character so much that it's, like, such a big part of its, like, appeal. And it's a big part of its draw. But it is. So people go there every year to go see where Rocky ran up the steps. So to me, it's, like, a big part of an actual city, too, that... And, like, a mentality. So, I think people in Philadelphia can get behind, like, the idea of Rocky. And it probably makes them feel, like, really good. Like, oh, yeah. Like, this is us. This is, like, part of our... Even though it's fictional, it's part of their, like, you know, their culture in a way. Because it's become part of their culture. At least their pop culture. Here's me at the top of the steps. Yeah! Yo! I did it! So that's me at the top there. I did run up. I didn't just walk up. I ran up. And then if you go further back, there's me with the statue, me with the rocky feet, which I really was excited about there. Me and Paul at the bottom of the steps before, actually it was after we climbed down, not before we ran up. And then again, there's the actual pose from the movie. Again, another angle, another part from the movie. And me, one more time full circle. So yeah, I'm a little biased. I really like Rocky. I've, I've liked Rocky for like 15, 20 years. A long, long time since I was semi-young. I couldn't go against it. Sorry, guys. Couldn't go against it. So, again, uh, a lot of good stuff coming up this week. If you guys disagree with me, it's okay. And if you're watching on YouTube later, people who are watching not live, if you're disagreeing with my choice, that's okay. It's perfectly okay to agree to disagree. Drop your choice in the comments below and let me know 
which franchise you're choosing and which franchise you are banishing out of existence forever. And you better be sure, because the other one's gone. Goodbye. It's KO'd, as someone said in the chat earlier. So yes, again though, they're both great movies, and both great franchises, because there's more than just one movie at stake here. Again, I like all the Rocky movies. People, like I said, crap on 5, I like 5 a lot. I even like the Balboa movies. Because at first I remember going to the theater, and not liking the Balboa movies that much. But then I rewatched it like 3 or 4 years ago, well, 5 years ago. And I was like, oh my god. I love the Balboa movies. They make you sad. He misses Adrian so much. Like, that's the sad part. Also, what's cool about Rocky, and I'm kind of biased, is I love, like, in the Rocky movie, how he's throwing that, like, blue ball around. Like, he's he's throwing this, like, stress bouncy ball the whole time. I was obsessed with the idea of this ball, and I actually got this ball for Christmas one year. And it's the exact, like, replica blue ball. Like, it's like a boxing ball for, like, you throw it up, you catch it, and you bounce it. It's like, I don't know. What, what is it for? Hand-eye coordination? I don't know. Basically, I got it because it's, like, the same ball that Rocky throws around in the movie, which is how obsessed about Rocky I am. So, yeah, co going to see the stairs and the statue was, like, a dream come true. So, I gotta say, I was trying to hide which movie I would pick, but I kind of knew that I would pick Rocky off the bat when I even posed this question. Not that it was an easy choice because I do like Karate Kid, but it's a newer favorite. So, I don't have the history that I ha I've had with Rocky. So, I don't know. There, There it is there. <laughs> Nail says, have I ever chased a chicken like Rocky Trains? No, but I feel like I need to. Until next time, guys, since it's Christmas time, I gotta say, keep the change, you filthy animals, and do a Home Alone reference, so. See you guys!